Hi, this is Tia from OhioCannabis.com, and right now I'm with Brandon from Ohio Central Normal. Say hello. Hi, Tia. It's a pleasure <laughs> to be here with you. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry I took that away from you so quickly. But today we just got done with the Ohio um, Cannabis Biz Boot Camp up in Cleveland. Yay, right? So I just want to ask Hoorah. him. Right, right, right. Uh, I just kind of wanted to ask him about his experience and what he thinks is going to come from this. Obviously, this is a very exciting time to live in Ohio, and we're all excited for legal cannabis. But as you know, there's been some... I guess issues with bills passing and the state giving we, us something. We are on the precipice. Yes, <laughs> yes. We're moving forward. We are. We definitely are. So, how do you see um, the industry forming in the next five years for Ohio if we continue on this path right now? Well, you know, we have uh, towns like Johnstown that have openly invited the cannabis industry into their local economy. There, they want it in the mix. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Which is lovely. Um, I see it going however our state legislators end up directing it to go. You know, right now everything is to be to to be determined within the next two years yeah. on the Ohio Marijuana Control uh, Program, and all we can do is lobby them. <laughs> really, right. um, with my chapter of North North Central Ohio Normal, um, what we are encouraging people to do is really get in with these sensible bills. You know, there's uh, Sensible Newark, Sensible Bel Air. Shout out to Bill Schmidt Jr. Um, he's great. He's yeah, great. Yeah, yeah, he's the man. He really is. Um, and he, he gets stuff done. And we want more people like that. We, we need 100 of him, and then Ohio would be fully decriminalized, and we wouldn't even have to worry about our medical laws. Um, so we are encouraging towns to, to get started with that. And if anyone needs any help on how to get the process rolling, they can contact us at uh, North Central Ohio Normal on Facebook, NCO Normal. Um, and right now we're working on a bill in Elyria, Ohio. We've been collecting signatures to, to get sensible Elyria on the ballot for a special election in the spring of 2017. And... Um, we use all of our proceeds from fundraising for normal so that we can keep out, keep printing petitions and keep getting it in people's hands. Uh, we're trying to make it to local city council meetings and make sure that um, they're not putting bans on medical marijuana businesses oh, from the yeah. state. That's, that's a really important thing that people need to be doing at local levels. If, you know, whether you live in a township, small town, or a big city, please, please, please attend your city council meetings and, and talk to these people. I can't stress that enough. It, it has to happen at the very basic level, and that's with each one of us. There's, there's something that all of us can do. Exactly. Every, everyone can do their part. So I think what, you, what you're saying is great. Could you kind of go over what these um, sensible bills are a little bit for the users at home? Yeah, so what, what the sens sensible bills do, right now um, Toledo has one enacted, and Toledo actually has the most progressive pot laws in the country. Ooh. Toledo, you're allowed to have 200 grams with no fines, no jail time, and no license suspension, which is huge. So really, it's, it's overlooked by law enforcement so that they can focus on, you know, serious crimes, violent crimes, maybe some white-collar criminals for once. So <laughs> let's uh, f switch our focus on bankers. Um, but... <laughs> What that does is it, it <laughs> we don't have to worry, you know? You don't yeah. have to look over your shoulder and, you know, you can actually look back at law enforcement as serving and protecting and not just trying to bust donors for not harming anybody. Some flowers. <laughs> um, but look, if you look at states like Colorado, in Colorado you can only have two ounces, I believe, is the their limit there. 200 grams in the city of Toledo and for the rest of these sensible sensible bills, that's the felonious amount of possession in the state of Ohio is right at that level. But 200 grams is half a pound. A, a pound is 448 grams, so it's almost half a pound. That's, that's a good personal amount of pot. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, yeah, as long as you keep it in a single bag and you're not selling it and 
you're fine to have it. And it's, it's better than our affirmative defense that we're supposed to have right now that our legislators pulled away from us. You know, it's with a doctor's recommendation, we're supposed to be able to have that now, but we'll see uh, as we keep lobbying the state. Where that goes from here. Yeah, Yeah, I've definitely heard a lot about the affirmative defense, and I'm excited to see where it goes because, like you said, if we keep petitioning and we keep our voices out there, that's really what makes change, I think, is everyone coming together and collabing on something and and going from there. So, Yeah, what actually made you um, come today, Brandon? Was it just to learn about um, affirmative action and, I'm sorry, affirmative defense, or did you come for the networking capabilities? Um, well, I, I came because I wanted to see if anyone knew anything more than what I did about <laughs> being able to enter into the, the business world in Ohio involving cannabis. Um, I also came more importantly to network, especially with fine folks like you at, uh, you know, OhioCannabis.com <laughs> here. So it, it's, it's really about reaching out to other people in our culture, making sure that we're all on the same page. That way we can all oh, yeah. move in the same direction mm-hmm. instead of, you know, too many moving parts going in, in other places. It, it, when you divide and conquer, you're not as strong as when you speak with one voice. Exactly, exactly. A house divided amongst itself will fall. And obviously we've seen that in Ohio happen a few times, but... Well, we finally got medicinal, so we're working on it. We're getting there. Baby um, steps, baby ba- steps. Yeah, exactly. Well, thank you so much for letting me interview you. I definitely appreciate it. Thanks for all the work you do with Normal. Love you guys. Appreciate it, obviously. And um, we hope to see you again soon. Namaste. Bye. <laughs>